let's dive into this soft jewel tone eyeshadow look. We're working with color, but we're keeping it natural. I'm starting out with the eyes in case there's any fallout with these vibrant colors. This is a Givenchy eyeshadow palette. I'm starting out with this neutral shade that I'm blending into my crease. And you want to make sure that your eyeshadow doesn't dip any lower than this diagonal from the outer corner of the eye to the tail of the brow. Just continue to blend that transition shade all the way from inner corner to outer edge. Now I'm going to pick up this cranberry shade and start to build out a little dimension. I'm going in at the outer corner of my lid and blending it into the crease where I put down that transition color. I'm also adding this color to the inner corner of my eye and blending out. Once we're done, this is going to create a lot of dimension. And color placement is just as important as how you blend. So you're going to go back and forth between placing the color with this dabbing motion and small circular motions to blend. And now we're staying in the red family, but we're going to pick up this shade, which is more shimmery, just to add even more dimension. So you can see I'm applying to the edges of that first red shade. And again, this is just going to create that shimmery, soft look. Okay, we're going for it. Let's dip into that purple shade. This is going to be the color that's closest to my lash line, and I'm applying the least of this color because it's easier to build than to take away. So I'm starting very close to my lash line at the outer corner of my lid, and again, just dabbing that color and placing it exactly where I want it to be, and then starting to blend it out. And we're adding the shade to the inner corner of the eye as well and blending with that cranberry color. Especially because I'm keeping this look soft, I'm adding just a little bit at a time and then having a look, seeing if I'm happy with it or if I want to take it further. And now using my finger, I'm going to pick up this shimmery copper shade and add this to the center of my lids. This is where the light catches. So you want to add your lightest, most shimmery shade right here in the center. And even though I'm applying this with my finger, I'm still blending with the other colors. And now it's a game of balance, going back in and adding a little bit more of each color until I have this beautiful progression of that purple into the cranberry into that orange, almost like a sunset. And don't be afraid to pick up different brushes for this. For the deeper shade, I'm going to use a smudge brush to be able to use it as sort of an eyeliner as well. The darker shades you want to concentrate in smaller areas and the lighter shades you can use a fluffier brush to apply. And I wasn't sure where I wanted to apply this blue based pink but now that I'm almost done it's the perfect shade to sort of tie everything in together blend that purple with the orange and you can take this as far as you like you can go even softer than I did or you can take it further it really all depends on personal preference and now that the eyes are almost done I'm going to move on to the skin beginning with the Armani luminous silk foundation one of my favorites for years I'm using a beauty blender to blend this out but you can also use any brush of your choice but one thing I like to do if I do my eyes first before the skin is I take whatever's left over on my beauty blender and just kind of smooth out the edges, blur out the edges of my eyeshadow. It really makes everything look very blended and seamless. Moving on to concealer, I'm using this one by House Labs. It's been my go-to lately. I really like it, especially for more glam looks. I'm just going to apply this to the inner corners of my eyes and to the outer corner. And you know we like to keep everything dewy and natural around here. So before I blend, I'm going to spray my brush with a very hydrating setting mist. This brush is also by House Labs. I like it. It's really dense and kind of perfect for blending out concealer. So I'm just going to go through and blend all of that out. Another complexion trick I love is after you're done blending out your concealer, use your foundation brush or sponge to smooth out the edges so that the concealer and the foundation blend perfectly together. And next up, going into my contour, if you remember, I 
customized this contour product myself. It is one of the House Labs concealers in a deeper shade that I added brown and gray eyeshadows to to get this perfect tone pretty much for contouring. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender, making sure to blend upward at the hollows of my cheeks. And now for sort of a throwback, I'm using this blush by Lorac. It's called Luma. I just thought it was such a pretty soft pink shade to complement the eyeshadow. And it's buildable too. And like I said, it just develops into this beautiful soft pink. And of course, I do want to lightly set my concealer areas. So I'm going to use this powder from Givenchy that I've been using for almost a year now. I really like this one. It shows up beautifully in photos. And finally for the face, I'm going to go through with a veil of bronzer just to sort of pull everything together, add that warmth, make everything look nice and blended and healthy. And we can go back to the eyes. I'm going to take that smudge brush and just add a little bit of that pink to my bottom lash line from inner corner to outer corner, obviously concentrating most of the color at the inner corner. I'm not going to go any darker for the bottom lash line, but I am going to add a tiny bit of highlights. I'm going to take this pearly shade and add it just to the inner corners of my eyes. Again, just a nice little accent to finish off the look. And using this dark brown eyeliner from Laura Mercier, it's called Espresso Brown. I'm going to line the inner rim of my top lash line. It's just going to add some definition to the eyes without a heavy eyeliner. And then just adding a tiny bit to the outer corner of my lash line just for that tiny kitten flick and I'm also gonna kind of blend that out with my finger just so it's soft and using my caviar volume mascara also from Laura Mercier I'm gonna go through really comb this through my lashes and prep them for some falsies we're finally doing it or finally wearing some false lashes but you know how we do. We're still going to keep this looking natural, which is why I chose the Zana style from Duart Beauty. These come separated in three sections, so you can use all three or just use two, which is what I typically do. So I'm using the center piece right at the middle of my lid and just placing that carefully and using the outer corner piece. And that's it. Just those two will give me the lift, the volume, the kind of PCness that I want to see in this lash look. You see how that sort of helps to lift the outer corners of the eyes? Now using this pen from Linda Halberg, I'm just going to very, very lightly add a little bit of fullness to my brows and then going in with one of my favorite products. This is the Brow Blowout by Dominique Cosmetics. This is going to set my brows, it's going to make them look laminated and just, again, add some fullness. I'm in love with how these eyes turned out. Now, to finish off the look, I'm gonna line my lips with this liner from Too Faced. It's called the Lady Bold Liner, and the color that I'm using is called Badass. I'm gonna line my lips, and you can see it's not that different from my lip color, but it is adding a bit of contour. To that, I'm going to add one of my favorite products from YSL. It's like a lipstick balm combo in the color 123. And I just wanted a little bit of extra gloss. So I'm going to top it off with this gloss from Wet n Wild. It's a very neutral shade and it just kind of pulls the whole lip look together. And that's it for this soft, wearable Jewel Tones eyeshadow look. I hope you loved this look as much as I did. Let me know what you think of it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.